what's everybody, which was Street Care in Today we're going to review the Bordeaux 7. This shoe is released, releasing um, July 18th. Box price is $190. Color of the box is black, Bordeaux, like graphite, midnight fog. Okay, we we'll use this right here for the review. And I'll take that back. Um, the shoe originally came out in 1992, it was the original colorway. It was retroed one time in 2011, four years ago, but the difference was they had a, gr a light gray um, midsole here. So technically, this exact way, this is the first time it's being retroed. Uh, since, like I said, since the midsole was uh, is a different color, and this is back to the original color, how, how it came out in 1992. Um, anyway, like I said, 1992 original uh, release, Tinker Hatfield shoe, uh, it's very lightweight. It was, made, it was made for flexibility for Mike on the court. Um, it has a Harachi sock liner in it there for support. Um, it's also the year where they took all the uh, Nike squishes off the, um, the shoe. There's no Nike emblems here at all. Um, it's kind of the separation point of um, Jordan brand for Nike. So using that Jumpman symbol only. Um, so it's the look of the shoe. Um, this is again a remastered series. Uh, this is 190. Uh, in 2011, I think I think the box price was 150, if I'm not mistaken. So it's already went to 40 dollars in the last four years. Um, but I tell you what, definitely the quality is good here. Blue marks, seams, everything is, is nice. Even on the on the um, the black pieces here, it looks like there's a little bit more dimension to it. I don't know if this is thicker. I don't know somebody somebody has a, a pair from 2011 to see if, it, if there's a difference uh, side by side. It seems like there's at least it's a little bit nicer finish uh, on the edges. Look, they look a little thicker. Could be my imagination, but uh, me and my guys here thought when we looked at it that, that that's what we perceived it um, as being. But definitely. Great quality. It's a great looking shoe. Uh, again, like I said, it's original colorway, and it's, it's probably really the first time this exact one came out um, since the retro. Um, like I said, the 2011 had that right here. Uh, anyway, like I said, you got your uh, your, bur your burgundy there. Uh, you saw the Bordeaux right there. You got all your colors here on the tongue. That's that satin tongue. On the back, you got the 23 and the seven. They're on the heel. You got your pull tab up there. Uh, that's Watch your sock line is in here. We've also got a. Actually, you know what? I forgot. Yeah, they actually do use the uh, Nike Swish inside. Yeah, I guess they still had it inside. I thought all the emblems were up. That's right. They, they kept it inside. Uh, it was only on the outside that the. Um, Sometimes when I take too much coffee, that the, um, the Nike Swish and all the Nike emblems were taken off. Yep. So you got your Nike Swish inside. All right. Um, anyway. That's the shoe. It's a good-looking shoe. This is definitely going to be. No, I'm this back here. Um, it's going to be a sellout. Like I said, it's going to be July 18th. Um, you'll have no problem. I mean, you'll have probably a problem getting these. To tell you the truth, um, but just uh, like I said, get up early to try to try to get you up there. Okay, let me show you the bottoms. Move on. All the colors on the bottom of the shoe. It's a cool-looking bottom. I always like the seven bottoms. They're cool-looking. Um, the hats I have, you know, we, I ordered New Era hats to, to match up with the shoe. But of course, they haven't came in here yet, and New Era sometimes takes a long time. And, you know, and I'll end up getting them after the release date, the hats. But um, at least I just have two. Uh, I have a Long Island hat just to match that Bordeaux and a Yankee hat. But we do have some hats coming in that have all the colors in it. Um, so I guess I'm going to check back. Maybe I'll throw that on one of my next videos. Um, because these will probably these will be gone after the release date, but um, I'll try I'll try to throw that hat back on the video on my next on my next video. Um, there's no clothing again for the uh, for this for this Jordan. Um, like I said again, I think missed opportunity again from Jordan brand. This, this is definitely a colorway. I mean, I've got a lot of colors in the store, and I don't have that one thing in the store out of all the color schemes that I have here that can go with the shoe. I'd rather have have these colors, especially this Bordeaux color, it seems to be a little bit. But, you know, different different shade. But um, you know, like I said, sorry about that. Again, missed opportunity from Jordan Brand with that. Uh, there's only been a couple of shoes that came in, just to show you real fast. Um, you got your um, you got your KDs here. Um, these are Kobe's. Let's do the Kobe's first. These are elites. These are actually two hundred dollars. Um, the money. I think the regular Kobe's are one hundred eighty, but this one's two hundred dollars. KDs. These are, I believe, one eighty. Um, these are going to come out soon. And these are the penny, um, the pennies. Uh, this one is, this one is 165. And yeah, that's the top of penny sixes. So um, that's it. Not much product has come in. These are kind of the doldrums of uh, July, but um, not, not, not too much footwear comes to the door. Um, that's about it, really. Uh, we're going to have um, probably the next review is going to be, I think, the Jordan 
the 11th at Low Top. I think that's the first week in August that I'll review next. Um, yeah, that's about it. Again, you want to look at your last look at your Bordeaux's sevens. Street gear out.